Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I would like to just give a quick update on the swatting case that took place towards the end of 2017. I did make a video on this as soon as the news broke out because for one, to raise awareness over the fact that swatting is not a prank, it's actually a very, very sick and twisted thing to do because it could get a lot of people hurt, and it finally did sadly, and two, because I wanted people to know that you shouldn't take everything you see or hear online to heart because at the end of the day, it's not actually going to affect you in real life because if you look at it you are basically just arguing with some kid across the world who you will never ever see more than likely but uh, I've been following the case ever since and to kind of give everyone including the family some closure I guess the swatter who I hate to say his name Tyler Barris was arrested yesterday with charges of involuntary manslaughter which ranges from 2 to 11 years in prison giving false alarm and interference with law enforcement now I checked out numerous interviews from police detectives over the past couple days and weeks here and I saw one yesterday that stated the case is still being investigated and they're reviewing everything that happened between the other two parties involved which one of them was the guy who I guess hired the swatter and the other is the guy who initially made the swatting threat so those two could also be charged and also the police officer is still being under review but we actually do I guess have a reason as to why he fired his weapon and apparently it was because the guy was reaching for his waistband Band, which if you ask me is not a very good reason to take a life like that like the guy was a family man and I just feel so bad after watching the interviews with the guy's mother it's just a really sad thing overall and I hope that Tyler feels so ashamed of what he did and I hope everyone out there who is watching this if you if you are and if you're involved in this kind of activity that you are aware of the consequences that can happen but honestly I just don't understand why the officer shot the homeowner because if you think about it the police dispatch operator was on the phone with the guy the entire time he was or she actually was on the phone with Tyler the entire time and when the homeowner opened the door don't you think it's kind of obvious that if the guy walked out with no cell phone no type of communication whatsoever you know can't you see something isn't right here I just kind of feel that there wasn't proper communication between dispatch and the officer on the scene and then of course the officer are all trigger ready because of how serious the fake threats were which I do kind of understand yeah, but I, I just feel there could have been better communication between everyone. Maybe dispatch could have possibly traced the call and saw that it was from an out-of-state number, but I don't know. Hopefully everyone can learn from this situation. I also feel that Tyler should have gotten a longer sentence because of how... Uh, how harsh this crime was the case is still being reviewed though the charges could also change but I'm gonna keep on following the story for a bit more and see what else happens I just honestly feel so so sorry for the family because they lost a loved one over the holidays and it's just overall a very sad thing it's a very sad case but hopefully this can bring some of uh, the people who are involved in swatting to maybe change their minds when they I guess feel the need to commit this terrible act so guys tell me your thoughts about this and the punishment in the comment section down below and just your overall thoughts about this case also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and uh, thanks for watching till next time i'll see you later